go in reverse. It's the reverse drill to yesterday's video on the Atalanta jersey. Now we have the same background. I'm wearing an Italian team, Milan, the 9-10 away jersey player version, long sleeve. I'm gonna show you a Spanish team. Is my first Atletico jersey and I think I got this early in 2019 on the private seller webpage that I usually frequent and I think it was 10 euros I'm pretty sure it was 10 euros and when I got it it had tons of, I mean tons of grass stains. This has been used for playing soccer. Um, no? You can see they're all out of it, out. There's no staining anymore. Uh, I linked the video above that, that you can see in what bad shape it was after a few times washing and you know using all this, it really looks like new. And it's a fine jersey. It I actually it's not my favorite Atletico Madrid uh, jersey, and I think this is it's a little bit uh, funny because I was planning to do an Atletico Madrid jersey, and I saw the footballero was also showing his Atletico Madrid jersey. Yeah, uh, it happens way. He has a nice salon, uh, though. Uh, link also above. But I have to say, the what I really like is this was the last time, uh, last season that they wore it uh, in the Vicente Calderon. I've once been not for a game, but I've been at the Vicente Cal Calderon. So it was really nice to have the Vicente Calderon on there. Great stadium, I have to say. I mean, it's still old style and uh, also with the um, motorway running through uh, this stand. That was pretty, it's pretty special. Also in a, a rather interesting neighborhood there. Uh, what I didn't realize until I actually had the jersey is that the striping here is not your classic Atletico Madrid uh, striping because this is thicker than and then the stripes get thinner, thinner, thinner. So uh, that was a little bit weird to me. Uh, it also, to my liking, is a little bit too little blue. I understand the template, you get the blue here, you get the blue here, but I really liked that when, when in previous seasons they had like a nice blue collar or even better, uh, the sleeve cuffs a little bit blue as well. So, uh, but you know, it makes for a more classic look. Uh, it has the plus 500 sponsor, which is, yeah, it's a box sponsor, but I think it's actually all right. It fits well with the jersey. Maybe the plus could be red uh, up here instead of silver, but you know, small potatoes. Um, is it my favorite sponsor? No, uh, it is definitely not. I have it plain. It's from the fabled uh, template that Nike had where everyone hated the Euro jerseys that came from them. I have to say uh, the template is maybe not the greatest but the jerseys wear really 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 well. This is I think the fourth jersey I have from these templates and they're some of my favorites to wear too to be honest because it has a very silky smooth material. And this is the stadium version uh, so I really like that. It has the blue here on, on the side and you know if France would have done something similar with their home churches, they have the red, that would have been nice. Uh, what else do we have on this one? We have the patches, we have no name on the back. Uh, and yes, we have the old style crest. I think this is also the last time they had this crest, um, which overall I do prefer because as you can see the bear and the strawberry tree uh, are in full color. However, and I understand why Atleti changed this one. If you wanna uh, make it smaller for um, use on the web, this doesn't translate well. So the new crest is actually improving on that. It turns the bear around, but what I never understood is, why do we have then the bear and the strawberry tree, which is actually in the coat of arms of Madrid, just uh, for clarification. Why do we have it in the same color as the outline here? That is the one thing I don't un understand with the new crest. I totally understand. You got the tree in the middle. It makes it a little bit nicer here. Then you can have the bear going up because here's a lot of white space, which I totally agree does not look that well. I, that, I, that, that I agree, but you could have made the tree that you really have the tree with the straw. The straw it's not really strawberries. It's, a, it's called strawberry tree, but you know, that's the one thing on the new crest that I think they missed. Um, and that's why I still prefer this one because you have kind of the coat of arms of Madrid in there. Of course, we know Atletico Madrid 
was formed by students from Bilbao who were uh, Athletic Bilbao fans. So they, the crests are very similar, the jerseys are very similar, Bilbao just having the black pants, which happened, uh, the blue pants for Atletico Madrid happened then a little bit later. But yeah, pretty nice jersey, I would say. Uh, and I've been using it a lot because Atletico Madrid is really doing well this season. So I would like to know what you think about this jersey. The one thing I have to say, I mean, this was uh, the last game at the Vicente Calderon was, I think, the Champions League semi-final against Real Madrid, the return leg, where they had, uh, lost the um, first one 3-0, and then they were 2-0 up, and then uh, late in the first uh, half, Real Madrid scores the one goal and that basically killed the game and it ended in tears as it usually does for Atletico Madrid. Uh, which makes them also a little bit more, um, you know, it's easy to sympathize with Atletico Madrid fans. Their club anthem, I think for 100 years was the Rolling Stones, you can't get, uh, you don't always get what you want. That tells you everything about Atletico Madrid. In any case, not the most successful season, but I really would like to know what you think about this jersey. Uh, if you have any memories attached to it, uh, and yeah, drop a line below, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.